What's up guys, wanted to record a quick video showing a cool RevOps motion I've developed for the uh, outbound team here at Service Bell. We sell to seed to series B stage SaaS companies with inbound traffic that want to improve their email conversion rates and they're running on HubSpot. So I'm using Clay to essentially enrich a list of over 70,000 sites that have HubSpot installed on the site. We scraped the web, found 70,000 websites right here okay that have hubspot installed and then what i did is to make sure that they have traffic i actually enriched the website with their traffic data the ones that did have traffic i then enriched with linkedin company data and employee counts so that they're a good a good size for us linkedin gives over an industry over here um, and oftentimes SaaS companies fall under the computer software space but there's also plenty of times where a software company does not actually a SaaS company has a different industry on linkedin and if i were to rely only on linkedin data I wouldn't have access uh, to a lot of these companies. So you can see here, Chartbeat is clearly a SaaS company, right? But um, it's their their industry is tech, information, and, and internet. So what I did is I used ChatGPT to essentially scrape the the company um, LinkedIn page and determine if it's a software company. And I trained it a little bit, and you can see here that it's giving me a yes or a no response, and it's quite accurate. So even though this company does not seem to be a SaaS company, it actually is, and therefore I'm selling to them. And the last thing that I wanted to, to look for uh, is what company, what ICP does this company sell to? Because if, uh, if, if someone's using ServiceBell and they're trying to call, right, ServiceBell, the software that I sell is a live video chat tool. So basically, you know, salespeople would love to be called by ServiceBell, right? But an engineer may not. So if the company I'm reaching out to they sell to engineers, it's probably not going to be a good fit. But if they sell to a different industry like marketers or salespeople, then it could be. So I also use ChatGPT to tell me what is the uh, audience of this customer. And if it's engineering or if it includes security, you can see that it's bad target audience and it gets filtered out. So what I'm left with is a list. If I go to the assignment tab, I'm left with a list of companies that all run on HubSpot, they're all SaaS companies, they're all seed the Series B with traffic, and they also sell to a good audience. And then I can go ahead and chop this up and assign it to my sales development team. So the next step here is going to be to assign it to an SDR. So I'm going to go ahead and assign these to Kevin, who's one of our SDRs who's doing a good job. I'm actually going to give him, I'll give him, mm, I'll give him 250 more accounts to go for. So there we go. And I have a formula here that basically has his owner ID, this his user ID in HubSpot. Uh, you can use ChatGPT for this, it's not all code. But basically, in order to assign the account in HubSpot, you have to have their user ID. So I just associated an owner ID with an email. And this, this way, whenever someone, um, whenever I want to you know, add an account to, a, to a, an SDR, I can pop their email in. And then Clay's automatically, once I go ahead and run the enrichment, Clay will automatically assign these accounts to the SDR team. So let me think for a sec. Sheer already has plenty of SDR, uh, plenty of accounts or other SDRs. So I'm going to give these all to Kevin. Let's go ahead and assign them. Boom. Copy and paste. And then this is all going to run. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to run this column. Boom, forced run all 540 rows that are showing in this view. And as you can see here, so as you can see here, I can go ahead and I can click run on these cells. And when I do, you can see the company was created or updated depending on whether it exists or not. And all the properties that want to be updated or updated. It passes in the name, their website, their industry. Um, it passes in the owner ID, so to send it to Kevin all of these different things. I'm going to go ahead and run it for all of these companies at once now. There we go. So you can see I queued up all of these different rows all at one time and they're all assigning now. So you can see now Craft is assigned in HubSpot. So let's check them out in HubSpot. So we can see here all of the companies were pushed into the Kevin's account list, the cold not started list, and then Kevin can go in here and he can export this list 
and he can add it to his sales navigator and he can prospect his leads and do all his cold calls. So now when the SDR goes to do his prospecting, this is what happens. He goes into sales nav, you can go to account accounts, see account lists, and he has an account list called uh, Kevin's accounts instead of share the other SDR. So they can actually go in here and um, add more people to the list, add more companies at least. But once there's a list here, an account list here, they go to leads and they go to lead filters and they can search. All they have to do is make sure that current company includes his accounts. And now when he goes to do his, um, his, his prospecting, all the leads who come back, for example, are all working at these companies that were already scored and qualified. So he can just put in whatever he wants. Let's say head of sales, right? Head of marketing, whatever he wants to do. He can put them all in here. And now all of these, all of these leads are pre-qualified, very, 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 very good leads for us, which you can scrape with seamless, add to his outreach sequence and cold call away. So this is how we're booking meetings now at Service Bell. You can see here that um, one of these meetings already turned into um, an opportunity, six month plan. Uh, this is when Kevin, our SDR first started. He just started cold calling, booked this meeting. And a lot of the meetings that are coming in are very, very good because they're pre-qualified from Clay. So, you know, our new demo channel is lighting up with these. Here's one he booked. VP of sales, right? They're on HubSpot, they have good traffic. He's interested a lot in the free trial motion. Here's one that's going well, VP of sales, and he's looping in his VP of marketing. Here's one, Wide Whale, v, uh, director of sales, another cold call, this is from Clay. Here's one with Bob's Containers, VP of sales and marketing. Here's one from Clay, head of sales, Connor Hoy. This was from last Friday, so these are just coming in like crazy. Here's another one from Thursday, Pinwheel, mid-market sales lead. This guy, VP of sales, they're just coming in like crazy. VP revenue marketing. So this is all from Clay. Thank you, Clay. Love you so much.